as long as you don't have to worry about the thunder and that's the challenge, right? Trying to worry about the lightning, the thunder, and we had a lot of that tonight in Moxville. This is coming in from Doug McGurr. You can see here just beautiful shot that he captured. Lots of lightning strikes with this particular storm. Also, it tends to indicate for us that we may have some flash flooding going on and we did have flash flood warnings earlier for folks in eastern Davidson County that will expire shortly as we get you closer to the midnight hour. We've had flood watches up also across Winston Salem, Greensboro, back through Burlington and down through Ashboro. Thunderstorms are still popping up. We've got one right here just within the last 20 minutes has gotten going on the eastern edge here of Surrey and Allegheny County. So we'll be watching for some of those thunderstorms to just spot up overhead and that's going to create a problem for us too because we don't have a lot of winds at the surface to move these storms out. So you're getting these very heavy downpours too and temperatures are pretty warm aloft right now. So rainfall totals we're looking at anywhere from seven hundredths of an inch at the airport in Ashboro. But then you've got those big pockets of super soaker downpours that we've had more than six inches, almost seven in spots around Davidson County earlier tonight that prompted the flash flood warning anywhere from one to about an inch and a half to the east. And you know, over the next 24 hours, we're going to have a chance to see a few more thunderstorms. And tonight we had a couple of wind areas for folks up in northern Rowan County. So damaging wind gusts. We're looking at some trees that could come down, possibly some downbursts, but also heavy rain. So the flash flood concerns up until about midnight. We've got temperatures at 75 degrees in Greensboro. Lots of lightning out there too up in Virginia near Martinsville and northern sections of Patrick County. 72 tomorrow morning. We start out with a little patchy fog and then highs at 89 degrees. Now seeking shelter from the thunderstorms may be what you have to do for the afternoon and evening in a few areas. They're going to come in in waves though. So scattered showers and thunderstorms really get going and then you get a break. So it is going to be buggy and muggy through pretty much the next couple of days. Sunday's a little bit better with the storm coverage. Tomorrow looks to be ramping up the later we go through the afternoon and evening. So around the dinner hour, maybe grilling out could uh, put a little bit of a damper on that with those shower and storm chances. 87 may feel like the low 90s in the foothills and in the mountains from 64 degrees with areas of dense fog in the morning. Warming to 81 degrees, feeling like the upper 80s there. Scattered showers and storms, rain chances at about 60%. That marginal risk for severe thunderstorms is over Moxville, Lexington, Jefferson, Sparta. So this means that one or two of these storms could become severe. Not everyone, of course, will see that, but you've got the excessive rainfall possibilities really highlighted over Mount Airy, Martinsville, Reedsville, back into the foothills and mountains. So elevations up along the Blue Ridge Parkway. We'll see the flow moving in from the southwest to the northeast a little bit better there tomorrow. We do have a low tornado risk tomorrow. I don't think we're going to see a huge issue with that at this moment, but we do have winds that are going to be above the 60 mile an hour our mark potentially if we do see any severe storms. Also localized flooding that's still at the top of the list with these slow movers. We've got showers and thunderstorms on that hour by hour forecast really holding off until we get you through one o'clock. A couple spotty showers might start to really form overhead, but then we get that flow out of the southwest to northeast. Tonight, you know, those storms are moving in from the northwest moving east. Instead, tomorrow that warm front lifts north and a cold front's going to approach into Sunday. That's going to bring in scattered showers and storms all the way overnight into early Sunday morning. So some pockets of very heavy downpours and storms that move over the same locations could be responsible for some flash flooding potentially tomorrow in the mountains. All right, temperatures tomorrow at 89 degrees, feeling like the low 90s, and then we're actually in the 90s for the next several days. We're expecting to see low to mid 90s through the end of next week, feeling like the triple digits at times and just a few stray showers and storms typical for this time of the year. Uh, but I don't know if I can get used to those low to mid 90s next week.